Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ankit Parak and I am an allergy specialist and I work at Children's Death Clinic, New Delhi. So in this video, we talk about nut allergy. Now as we know, food allergy is gradually increasing, especially in the South Asian countries including India. The common food allergens which we see are milk, egg, soy, fish, shellfish, wheat and nuts. So let's talk about what are the symptoms of nut allergy in children, how do we diagnose it, what nuts to be avoided and how do we treat that. Well, the symptoms of nut allergy are similar to symptoms of any food allergy. But these reactions can be mild where after eating a particular nut, the child within half an hour to two hours develops rashes on the skin, develops hives on the skin or itchy red bumpy areas. Children can develop swelling of the lips or tongue which is called as angioedema. Children can get coffee, wheezy and can have watery eyes. Some children can have tummy pain which is crampy, can have diarrhea and vomiting as well. Now occasionally these symptoms can become severe and life threatening which is called as anaphylaxis. In these situations the blood pressure goes down, the pulse becomes thready, children can faint and sometimes it can lead to problems and sometimes it can lead to death. Now if a child is suspected to have a nut allergy then how do we confirm it? Allergy diagnosis should always be confirmed by doing an allergy test. Now these tests can be done in two forms. One is a skin prick test and other is the blood allergy test. Skin prick tests are the gold standard for diagnosis of allergy. Now in these tests, we put a small drop of allergen over the forearm of the child. We can test multiple allergens at one time and we can gently scratch that area with a, with a specialized lancet. This test does not uh, lead to any pain and there is no bleeding. Now, if a child is allergic to a particular nut, in that area, it forms a small, bumpy, mosquito bite type of reaction, which can confirm allergy in the particular child. Blood allergy test should be done by a standard method, which is known as Zeminocap, which is available from Thermo Fisher across India in many labs. Occasionally, these tests fail to make a diagnosis of nut allergy and in these situations if there's a very strong history of consuming nuts and then the child having particular symptoms then oral food challenge test is required where we in a supervised setting inside the hospital give the child nuts to eat in a particular dose gradually increase the dose and look for a reaction this test is not recommended to be done at home because occasionally children can develop reactions which are difficult to manage at home. If it is confirmed that a child has nut allergy, then what is the advice? Well, usually it, it makes sense to understand that if a child has nut allergy, then that particular nut should not be eaten. But this is not as simple. Now, we, we advise parents not to give any nuts if you are eating out because after breaking down into small pieces it is very difficult to recognize what nut it is. Now if the child is at home then the child can eat rest of the nuts to which the child is not allergic. How do we know that? Now when we do a skin prick test we will, we will test for the other nuts as well and we will identify to which nuts the child is allergic and to which nuts he is not allergic and if the child is found to be non-allergic to some nuts then those nuts can be eaten at home. 
So some children can be allergic to cashews, some children to walnuts, pecan, peanuts and almonds. It is important to read food labels, especially when you are you're, you're taking something from outside. As food labeling is not very robust in India, it is important to speak to the bakery from where you are purchasing the product. It is important to inform the chef of the restaurant if you're dining out. It is important to inform the teacher at a nursery school or daycare uh, if the child is allergic to a particular nut. But occasionally, children with nut allergy can develop a serious reaction which is known as anaphylaxis and hence all children with nut allergy, the caregivers should know how to administer epinephrine for severe reactions. So if a child has nut allergy, do get in touch with an allergist to understand what nuts are leading to problem, to get a proper diagnosis, get a proper advice and learn how to administer epinephrine in case of emergencies. So for more information, you can log on to our website ankitparat.com. Thank you.